Hey guys, it's Dan Hood here. Uh, some of you have probably noticed for some time now I've been working on color pencils, you know, trying to make them into a slingshot. I released the videos, but now I need to give you some conclusions. Uh, right now, I think you could say it was it was a bit of a failed project. Um, I, I did two options. I did one where I put it in put it in um, cactus juice and tried to get it to get it to fill up and get it to stabilize. Uh, here's what happened. Okay, the colors on the outside ran everywhere. Okay, colors on the inside ran everywhere. Okay. That just happens because that's what the resin does. Then I took another option you saw where I just bunched them together and poured resin down it. You know, I was able to get this far on a conus. Okay. The only problem is you can see, I mean, the lead falls out in some places. The gaps aren't as good. Now, my conclusion. I bought some really cheap color pencils at Walmart. They were round. They had color on the outside, and for the most part, I think the wood on them is pine, okay? That's what color pencils are. They function correctly here in the U.S. I think if you really wanted to do this correctly, there, there are fancier color pencils. They're a lot more expensive. Um, first of all, I think the angled sides might work better, okay? Because you can glue them together individually. They fit together a little tighter. You can do a whole bunch of things. You could probably also use the circular ones. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the circular ones. It's just harder to get them. You need them to be perfectly lined up with each other. Because they do skew a bit. And you'll have one at the top is here. And it may have pushed in down here. It, it's just a little bit harder to get them all lined up straight along the axis that you want them to line up, whereas the angled ones, they've got angles, they just fit together. They're almost like a jigsaw puzzle. Second of all, the more expensive color pencils um, are basically the kind that artists use, and their their lead is better attached, or if you will, or it's, it's, it's fixed into the pencil better. The wood is usually hardwood, not necessarily pine, okay? Um, which is another thing because the pine is so porous that even if you were to get everything else to work right when you start sanding it the pores fill up with the sawdust uh, from the from the color pencils and it's a mess and when you go to stabilize it this happens now this won't let anything bleed in anymore but it's useless the color is gone on the outside but maybe you could do this with a more expensive Pen, color pencil that doesn't have an outside color on it. The problem is, is if you get a color pencil that doesn't have an outside color on it, th then the only thing that's colorful in the slingshot is the is the center core where the lead is. Whereas you see some of these wood turners, they turn stuff where there's also you can tell there's uh, paint on the outside of the wood, and it really adds another it adds another dimension to the wood. The only thing I can figure is that they're probably using slightly is is that they're using more expensive pencils. Um, they're gluing them together. Uh, some of them use resin, but it's quite obvious that cactus juice is the wrong one to use. Um, this one I used the resin; it did well, but because I didn't take the time to line these up well, the gap not all the gaps filled up correctly. So that could be partly user error as well myself. But then when I got to sanding, the lead started falling out because it wasn't glued in right. Once again, cheap color pencils, more expensive, probably would have changed it. But anyway, I pretty much abandoned this project. This, I might keep this. It might make a good palm swell someday, but it looks ugly as sin. So I'm just going to throw it away for now. This conus, well, it, it'll go on my table over here. And if I feel like revisiting it someday, I might. But right now, it's too annoying. Anyway, that's my conclusion on colored pencils. The thing is, is to experiment and buy really expensive, nice hardwood pencils. 
maybe in Europe they're just common on the street, but here in the U.S. they're not, and they're pretty expensive, so I'm not going to pursue it any further from now on, but if any of you other guys want to, feel free, and if you discover something, share it with the rest of us. In the meantime, Dan Hood signing out. <laughs>